Hey guys, it is Thursday, February 11th. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out and some orders outside of eBay as well. Let's get to work. I sold four Funko Pops outside of eBay. Viewers reached out to me wanting them. And I got these about a week ago. You guys saw that big collection that I bought. I was waiting to ship these because I ordered some uh, plastic protectors for them and they were just taking about a week to get in. The protectors ended up costing me just over a dollar each shipped, but totally worth it because you know most of these Funkos are pretty valuable. First one that sold is Batman. That sold for $50 free shipping to Kristen. And next are these two Pulp Fiction. It's Vincent Vega and Jules. Those two sold to Michael for $160 free shipping. And then this one is Benson, the guy with all the gumballs on his head. It's pretty cool. That sold for $205 free shipping to Joe. I also sold a jacket outside of eBay to Josh. This is a Carhartt jacket, the one I got at Goodwill. I uh, paid $25 for this, sold for $45 free shipping. And then first eBay sale that we're shipping out. This is the Chaps uh, Sport Aztec uh, like zip-up long sleeve shirt. Got that at Goodwill for five dollars and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping and that one's going to Kennedy. Kristen, Joe, Michael, Josh, and Kennedy I want to thank you guys all so much for the support in the business. It really means a lot. All right next eBay order is an E41 right over here. It is a lot of I think five five Eloy Jimenez rookie cards. I got this in that bulk a lot of cards a week or two ago from the online auction and I decided to auction these on eBay. They sold for $26 plus shipping. Your name Adrian got these. He's bought a lot of stuff for me in the past. Adrian, I want to thank you for your continued support and I hope you like these cards. I sold a little wireless dongle here in A31. This guy right here, this is for Guitar Hero. These actually sell pretty well, so if you guys come across them, definitely pick them up. That sold for $26.99 free shipping. Sold another baseball card. Let's see, right in here. I started storing some of these cards in this box just to keep them a little bit better organized. It is this Eric Orzi autograph. I pulled this from a Bowman draft box. This is numbered to 150. That sold for $19.49 free shipping. And if your name Jorge got that card. Jorge, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Next thing is a lot of cards. Let's see back here in F41. I think I've got them in a bag. I think it's these right here. Yeah, these are vintage football cards. There is a Dan Marino, there's an Elway in there, Rice, Barry Sanders, there's a bunch of good names. It's a total of 30. I did an auction for these and they sold for $56 plus shipping. Next thing is a diecast car. It's a Spider-Man one right here. Pretty cool looking too. I've had this for quite some time. I've only got about $2 into it. That sold for $12.99 plus shipping. That car is going out to a viewer named Chad. He says, thanks, John. Been watching your channel for a while now. Learned so much from you. I live in New Vienna, Ohio. I have a booth in Lebanon, Ohio at the Peddler's Mall around an hour from Cincinnati. Please shout out my eBay store, Cluxton 40. Sticker would be awesome if you can. Thanks for all you do. Chad, I'll be happy to throw in a sticker for you. And I want to check out your booth at the Lebanon Peddler's Mall because I'm only about 10 miles from there. Next thing is a handy cam by Hitachi. Let's see. Right up here. This was in a big lot of stuff that I bought a couple weeks ago, so I've maybe got about $10 into it. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a PSP game. It's the game only in C32. Right here. I'm probably going to mispronounce this. It is Ultimate Ninja Heroes 3 Naruto, I think is how you pronounce it. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. I sold a golf club. I got to run over to my storage unit to grab, but before I do that, I'll pull one last thing in here. It is a reel-to-reel -reel tape, new in the plastic. I think it's an old inventory code. It said E2, so it's probably, yeah, it's probably in here. Is it this one? No, not that one. Okay, this one's not new in the plastic. It is Andy Williams, Moon River, and when I saw this, Alert for the sale, I instantly thought of that scene from Fletch when he's getting the exam by the doctor. Moon River. Whew. Thank you, Doc. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Well, guys, I pulled it and packed it, but I forgot to show it to you guys before I put it in the box, but I promise you it's in there. It's a Medicus 5 iron. Got that last year to sale for a dollar. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. 
keep an eye out for these. They have a broken hinge in the middle. They're a training device. So it's Medicus, and they make a driver as well that sells for about 50 bucks. It's Friday morning. I have eight eBay orders to ship out, but first I got a couple of questions from viewers I want to answer. First is from the middleman reseller. So I have a mind boggling situation. I received the following feedback from one of my customers. This never arrived. Seller doesn't respond. Makes you look bad eBay, but everything arrived in a timely manner and they never made any attempt to contact me. Here's where it gets weird. The buyer didn't write this as a negative feedback. They put this with the plus symbol under positive feedback. Anyhow, our store has hundred percent positive feedback with about 650 feedbacks. Should I, I contact eBay and attempt to get this taken off or leave it because it is not classified as a negative feedback. Thanks for any suggestions, Curtis, the middleman reseller. Yeah, that is a weird one. Personally, I wouldn't waste my time worrying about it. If you've got 650 feedback and they're all positive, really that's what potential buyers are going to see you know what i mean they're not going to see any negative feedback i don't think hardly any buyers are scrolling through all your feedback and reading what each one says and they see one that says oh that's you know somebody had a bad experience i'm not going to buy from this person i don't think that's going to happen so personally i wouldn't stress it too much all right next is from el nacho 78 I'm sorry if my question is out of context. I just posted an item for sale for the first time ever on eBay. I use the have one to sell tab and use the title on the item. I'm assuming you're talking about like clicking sell similar, you know, on ex an existing listing. I got contacted by the seller accusing me of stealing his title amongst some kind of other insults. I have checked several how-to videos and not one of them has stated that using the same title as another seller is considered stealing. Moving forward, I changed my title since it was an honest mistake. Was my action considered stealing. Are there any other rules of thumb that I should know about? Thank you very much for your time and answering my question. Okay, so this is just really funny to me. Like, the fact that anybody would try to claim stealing or plagiarism or whatever in a title is is just hilarious. For example, like if I'm selling this, there are only so many ways to describe this. You know what I mean? Green, metal, you know, tape gun with foam handle. Like I'm just describing what it is. Like for somebody to say like, oh no, that's what I called it. You can't call it that. It's just, it's just so ridiculous. People are crazy. If I, cause I do sell similar to, it's just easy. It generates the listing for you. I almost always, 99% of the time, I don't like the way they titled something, so I'm gonna tweak it a little bit just to make it, you know, as perfect as possible to make that sale. So I almost never use the exact title just because I want it to be titled the way I want it to be. But if somebody, I think I, this has happened to me like years ago, I did a self similar and I used the title and somebody, somebody messaged and said like, why did you, you know, take my title? And it's like, it doesn't matter, man. Like seriously, it doesn't matter. It's the same exact thing. Like, so if somebody messaged me with that, I wouldn't stress about it at all whatsoever. eBay's not going to do anything about it. Moving forward, you know, maybe tweak the titles just a little bit. A few tips for titles for you, I would say is try to use all the characters. So eBay gives you like 80 characters for your title do your best to use all of them and describe it as best you can. You want to use keywords in the title. And a lot of times people don't do that. It's just really short titles that are kind of lazy and they don't include everything. You know, like if something has a color to it, like, you know, a hoodie, like put gray and black, you know, zip up, full zip, hood, like all that stuff you want to include as much as you can in your title to try to find the right buyer for it. So yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. I wonder if anybody watching this has had that happen to them as well. If you guys have a question for me, leave a comment below on this video and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. All right, time to ship some eBay orders. First thing is a book right here on E2. This is a Mad Magazine hardcover book. Uh, completely mad history of the comic book and magazine. I got this at a garage sale. I guess it's been two or three weeks ago. I paid $2 for it. It sold for $16.99 free shipping. That book's going out to a viewer named April. She says, thank you for all your videos. I've been selling on eBay and my son Hunter is helping to earn spending money. We appreciate all your advice. April and Hunter, thank you so much for the support and wish you guys nothing but the best of luck on eBay. Next thing is a bag for tennis rackets. Down here in D5, it is from the US Open. This is something I got a few months back. I've maybe got about $5 into it. This one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I sold some Funko Pops right here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the whole box and pull them all at once. You guys saw me buy this collection. I guess it's been a couple weeks ago now. And I paid uh, $800 
for the whole collection and I've already sold off three or four of them and I just sold a few more of them that I listed yesterday let's see this top row is what I listed today I don't think it's gonna be any of these I sold the Wolfman so let's go ahead and find that one here he is this one sold for $54.99 plus shipping and the next one that sold is Shredder let's see this one right here from Ninja Turtles that sold for $44.99 plus shipping then I sold Bender from Futurama. He's back there in the corner. He sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And last one is Zoidberg. Let's see, I got two Zoidbergs. One's pink color, one's a blue. The blue one is the one that sold. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next are some vintage football cards in E42 right here. This is a lot of how many? 30? Yeah, 30 of them. I put them up for auction starting at a dollar. They sold for $41 plus shipping. Next is a lot of Skylanders figures. Uh, let's see. Right here in this box, I got all these from the Piqua resellers a few weeks ago. And I put them up for auction. They sold for $24.50 plus shipping. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.